Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through page replacement algorithms. So there are totally three algorithms, guys. In this tutorial, let us go through the first algorithm and we'll be going through introduction. In the next to next, we'll be going to two, two algorithms, one after the other. Fine. So page replacement algorithm. So just now in the previous tutorial, we have gone through demand paging, right? So in which swap in and swap out process are done, which are not in demand. And I have just told you a few things, right? So how we can decide that is in demand or how we can swap them out and everything. So that is done by your page replacement algorithms guys. So basically it is a technique used by operating system to decide which pages to be swapped out. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And it also decides that in memory, how many frames to be allocated. So there is a chance of allocating three frames or five frames or 10 frames, right? So that is also decided by this page replacement algorithm. So when page replacement is required, we must, we must take care of the replacements guys, because we need to be really careful and we need to select a particular victim to swap him out and to replace him with some other page. Fine. Okay. So the thing is you'll be thinking about in this whole problems or algorithms, we'll be talking about page fault. So page fault is nothing but it is a type of interrupt raised when a running process accesses a memory page that is mapped into virtual memory which is not turned into the main memory. So I hope everyone remembers the concept of main memory and virtual memory. So let us assume we are having the pages 8, 9 and 7. So now the new page 6 came. Is it existing in this whole main memory guys? Is it anywhere? No. So we need to search for something to replace, right? So once we replace it, this is nothing but your page fault. So one page fault occurred here. So every kind of swap in and swap out combined, it is called a single fault. Okay. So if you consider this, so graph of page faults versus graph of number of frames. Fine. So the, if you compare them, it will be in this way, guys. So basically as number of frames increases, the page fault will be reduced, but it will never go to zero guys. It will be it, it, somewhere. It will become constant. So we say that frames are inversely proportional to page faults. Fine. So, but according to Bile's Anamele, he told that in many situations, we'll be finding that frames are directly proportional to page faults. So he gave this statement guys. So let us take a problem and let us check this also guys in the same problem. We'll be just verifying this whether the thing that Bailey told is correct or wrong. So the first algorithm that we will be going through is nothing but first in first out. So once you hear first in first out, you'll be understanding the main concept, right? First in first out, whatever which comes first will be going into it and whatever which comes first, which is ready to come out of it, it will be coming first out. Fine. So the first three points are nothing but it is very simple to implement and oldest page is replaced by the algorithm. Fine. Okay. Once we are going through the problem, you'll be understanding this guys. Don't worry. So performance is not also good. It is not at all good guys basically. Okay. So if we take a small example, so this is a small example guys, which is given. So in the question, let us assume that he gave to verify the Bailey on ML, whether it is correct or wrong. So that's the reason why I took two cases in which I took the size of the frame as three and in other case I took it as four. So I'll be explaining one and the next thing you try guys, I'll be just showing the solution or I'll be doing a single step so you can try it. So basically this is the thing that is given, right? Okay. So initially you are having three frames. So I'll be doing this guys. So let us assume you're having three frames. Fine. So first one came. So one got its space, then one, two came, two got its space, then one, two and three. So now you are done with one, two and three. Now it's time for four. So whenever you think of substituting four, the thing is that you need to swap out something or you need to replace in place of something. So I told you what is the oldest page which entered this? It is nothing but one, right? So in place of one, you'll be placing two and write the rest things same. Further moving on, you, we are having one. So one more thing, you need to check whether it is there already in it or not. If it is already there, there is no need to change. Fine. So one. 
so one is not there so four is the re recent one one is the last oldest one three so one is also replaced so now we got two so it is nothing but four one two further moving on we again got okay four one two now we got three so three in place of four you'll be placing and it is one two fine so now we are done till one two is done i substituted three now it's time for four so three four and two after that the final chance is for five so it is nothing but three four five fine so now your question will be what is the page fault how many number of page faults are available here so did you find the variable here or you have just replaced right so in empty place you kept one it is a fault it is a fault because you kept a two here you kept a three here you replaced it is nothing but a fault here also we replaced it is nothing but a fault here also we replaced fault wherever you replaced it is nothing but a fault so let us assume here you got again five so in that situation you will not do you will not do anything fine so this is not a fault guys this is fault this is fault this is fault one two three four five six seven eight nine so we got nine faults fine okay so let us assume i okay i think did i skip anything or did i do any mistake because in this we got uh, non faults also just give me a second guys after five we took one two three did we miss anything or did we just jump off okay we jumped off from okay i did miss these two things i just jumped off from one one two to here one two i just jumped there okay okay guys so let us do it again guys it's okay so in this situation when we skipped those two things we didn't get any faults but the total number of faults are nine only okay so i'll be doing in a single step guys so that you'll be understanding okay so initially we got one after that we got two after that we got three so here we got three faults right okay further moving on you'll be inserting three so you will be writing in this way guys four you'll be inserting four so now what is the oldest thing that is nothing but your one so we'll be replacing in one so this is also a fault after that you'll be replacing one so that is nothing but four one three this is also a fault after that you'll be replacing two so that's the reason why i'll be just cancelling them guys while doing because i'll be just confusing from numbers to numbers okay so four one and two fine so now it's time for five so what is the oldest it is nothing but four right so five one two after that we got one yeah this here we didn't get any fault so here when you place one the things will be same right so remember that you should not replace anything one if you find the one which is already existing it will be a non fault and you'll be just writing the same block again so similarly for two also we are having so it is non fault five one two just cancel them for your basic understanding guys because we'll be confusing at the moment of the examination three so where three will be replaced in the position of one right yes i'm correct okay so five three two fine so further moving on we got four so next to the replacement will be done for two it will be four after that it will be five so five is already existing so this is also a non fault fine okay so totally we got let me write false also three okay okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we got nine faults here okay so this is the flow which way which i have drawn in my book guys so even you can draw in this way so you can write it no no fault which we should skip fine okay so similarly if you do the same thing for four frames so you may ask me that what is this frame now so frames are nothing but how many pages it can store will be your frames okay so here we did the same process for four frames right okay so now we got 10 frames so basically according to the rule the number of faults are inversely proportional to the number of frames right so but we increased the frame number and faults are also increased hence we can say that belly is true that is nothing but this is nothing but belly's anomaly guys so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so if you ask me the what is belly's anomaly to like to write in two lines definition so for some pages page replace for some page replacement algorithms page faults may increase as the number of allocation frames also increase so this is nothing but your belly's anomaly so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so in the next tutorial we'll be going through optimal page replacing algorithm thank you thanks for watching